Welcome to the Digital Connectivity Series on Ethercat. Ethercat is a network that was uh, released by Beckoff and uh, it's now become quite uh, widely used, especially in robotics and anywhere where there's high speed deterministic need with Ethernet. So to demonstrate here today, we're running a small uh, Beckoff uh, IPC and that's running TwinCat and via their visualization software, we're also connecting that uh, into a little touch monitor there. Ethercat uh, runs, it's a non-IP uh, related uh, Ethernet protocol. So it runs a little bit differently to uh, other Ethernet protocols in the market. We can spend quite a lot of time talking about the differences, but uh, today we just want to give you a bit of an overview of how we can use that to connect uh, in the um, process. So here we've only connected it to uh, a single device. Um, we can connect it, of course, to multiple different things, but you'll find Ethercat's button very widely used for things like drives, uh, servo controls and things like that uh, in robotics. But of course, if you are running that and you do need to connect to other things, you can do things like pneumatic valve manifolds as we've connected here. But we've also have uh, at Burkett our ME43, ME63, where we can connect to any sort of inputs, outputs, uh, pneumatics um, uh, and valves in the field, which is what we're demonstrating here today. So we're running directly from the Ethercat and we're coming out with our um, uh, EDIP network and we're going down to a valve manifold, operating valves here. We've got uh, single solenoids, a complete um, uh, actuated valve and even a analytical pH cube. So yeah, and just to give you an idea on the, the seamless connectivity, if we look at the valve there, we hit open and close. You see the valve opens and closes and the position feedback reading that as an analog signal in this all the way back to zero percent. So um, uh, the way it's connected uh, is a little bit uh, different as well. Um, it, uh, what we do is we generate an EDD file which then is uh, uploaded into the TwinCat software. So just to, uh, to wrap up, Burkett has quite a number of uh, different products that are on Ethercat. Uh, as we spoke about Valve Islands of H652 um, and also uh, we do the uh, ME43 and ME63, so field devices, so we can connect any number of I.O. And of course, once you're on those devices and into the EDIP network, we can connect everything from analytical, pH, conductivity, um, valve manifolds, single valves or whatever. The other thing we do directly with uh, Ethercat is our mass flow controllers and mass flow meters. So they can be directly connected. So if you're doing things like gas mixing for welding machines, uh, things like that, uh, they can be integrated directly into the Ethercat as well. So um, obviously our team, uh, as, as you've learned today, can take you through and help you with the integration of Ethercat. I hope you found this interesting and thank you very much.